Hello students, in the last video we have done testing hypothesis for means like we had a mean of a sample or population here we will be doing testing hypothesis for difference of means so basically you will be having two samples so what is the situation you have two independent random variable random samples of size n1 and n2 and they are drawn from two populations and the two populations are having mean mu1 mu2 and variance is sigma1 square and sigma2 square respectively then we know that this random variable we have already studied this thing that if you look at this uh, statistics x bar uh, x1 bar minus x2 bar minus mu1 minus mu2 over square root of sigma1 square over n1 plus sigma2 square over n2 has a standard normal distribution so this this result we already have and here uh, we assume that n1 and n2 are sufficiently large so that we can apply the central limit theorem and if the original populations are normally distributed if the two populations from where we are drawing our samples they are normally distributed then we don't have to be worried about the n1 and n2 then n1 and n2 can be small also okay now in this case in this case if sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is equal to sigma then this uh, statistics can be simplified here as follows you write sigma 1 square as sigma square and sigma 2 square as sigma square so sigma will come out of the square root sign so you you will get this thing right so this is the thing we are going to have as our statistics so what kind of hypothesis you can have so basically you can have that okay the hypothesis is that the mean of them the two samples uh, two populations the mean difference is g naught so this is your hypothesis this is our null hypothesis and we can assume our uh, alternative hypothesis as that this is not equal to d naught okay then if if this is the case we already saw that there will be two tail tests so this is our critical region if you are following the classical method and this is also the critical region and here this is the acceptance region okay and if you, if the value falls in the critical region then you will say that we reject h naught otherwise we accept h naught similarly we can have one sided test also one sided tail test so uh, we, we, if you have a situation like mu1 minus mu2 is equal to d naught or mu1 minus mu2 is greater than d naught then you have one tail like you have here okay so this is called critical region and this is your acceptance region and similarly you can also have mu1 minus mu2 less than d0 as your alternative hypothesis in that case this will be your critical region and this is your acceptance region so this is how you will be uh, <coughs> dealing with these problems so sometimes the variances of the populations are unknown as we have done already we have seen in one sample case so if the variances are unknown but we all we have this situation that variances are equal for two populations from where, where we are drawing our means in that case we have something called pooled t test okay so what is that that says same thing x bar uh, minus x2 bar minus this is your mu1 minus mu2 which is your d naught upon you will have instead of s you will have sp 1 by n square plus 1 by n2 square uh, sorry 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 we don't have squares here where sp is calculated like this it is calculated from sample variances s1 square times n minus n1 minus 1 s1 square is the variance of the first sample n1 is the size of the first sample so what you are doing you are multiplying the variance of the first sample with n1 minus 1 similarly you are multiplying the variance of the second sample with n2 minus 1 and in the denominator you have n1 plus n2 minus 2 so we have a result which says that this particular statistics here has t distribution okay and okay, uh, so t distribution with degrees of freedom is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 2 right so so for this we will have two tail test so we will look at t value t alpha by 2 if if the value so basically you have this situation minus t alpha by 2 t alpha by 2 so this is your acceptance region this is sorry critical region this is your critical region this is critical and this is acceptance okay so if the value lies here or here you reject h naught otherwise you accept h naught okay so similarly you can go for one-sided test so here we have a question so an experiment 
uh, was performed to compare the abrasive wear of two different laminated materials. So you have two different uh, laminated material. So you want to see their nature, like how strong they are. So 12 pieces of material one were tested by exposing each piece to a machine measuring wear. For, so, so this 10 here is your N1. And then 10 pieces of material 2 were uh, tested. So this is your N2. For sample 1, we get mu1 is equal to 81 and S1 is equal to 4. Okay, and for sample 2, we get mu2 is equal to 81 and S2 is equal to 5. Right? Actually, this is uh, not mu1, mu2. They are x1, x2, right? So this is x1, this is x2. Right? Okay, now can can we conclude at 0 0.005 level of significance that the abrasive wear of uh, material 1 exceeds that of material 2 by more than 2 units? Assume population to be approximately normal with equal variances. Right? So here, this is what we want to prove. Mu1 minus mu2 greater than 2. Accept or reject. So if I assume it to be my alternative hypothesis, this is my uh, null hypothesis. Alpha is 0 0.05, which is your significance level. Okay. So critical region will be because we have one sided test here. So critical region will be uh, T alpha. Alpha is 0 0.05. And if you look from the graph, it is 1.725. So this is your critical region, right? So you are going to find out the value of T. T was X1 bar minus X2 bar minus D0 divided by SP into square root of 1 by N1 plus N1 by N2 with degrees of freedom. You took 12 from first sample, uh, first population. 10 was your second sample, minus 2. So degree of freedom is 20. So that means you have to look in the 20th row. Okay, here also we, we saw a 20th row, okay, in T table. Fine. So, and what is SP? SP will be, uh, we, we had this formula. S, uh, SP square is S1 square into N1 minus 1. So that is 11 and 16. This is 11, this is 16. Similarly, this is 9, n2 minus 1. This is s2 square, and upon n1 plus n2 minus 2. So this is 4.476. So if you compute these statistics, this is 1.04. Now you see, this was our uh, acceptance region, right? So here, 1.04, less than the critical value. So do not reject h0. So our decision is do not reject h0. You can also apply P test here, P value test. For that, you have to, this is your statistics. So you want to see how far you are away from your actual mean, <coughs> 1.04. So you look at this probability. What is the probability that you can be this far? So that is probability of T greater than 0 .0, uh, 1.04. It comes out to be 0 0.16, which is less than your significance level. Therefore, we do not reject H0. So do not reject H0 means this was your H0. It means that the difference between the mean is 2. It is not greater, greater than 2. Right. So what is our conclusion? So hence we conclude that, hence we are unable to conclude that the abrasive wear of the material 1 exceeds that of material 2 by 2 units. So this is how we will be doing these problems. Thank you.